I have just arrived here at Mogwin's Palace. And it's time to look around. So this looks like a fairly big place. I see some items in this direction. Oh! Oh good, it's a... It's a Tibia Mariner dude. Oh, it's still shooting at me. Wow, okay. This is, uh... Whoa! Okay, so something I'm noticing right away... This is a somewhat more challenging area than I anticipated. <laughs> These guys are not dying as fast as I might have wished for. Can't open the map. Blood tainted excrement. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's check our stuff. Um, let's try Moonvale. And let's try... The Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Where are we? I'm kind of looking for a map. So this is all new to me. I do not know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm going to find. I mean, all I know for sure is that I'm going to find a boss. And he's probably going to give me an achievement. That's the main thing that I know for sure. And I'm guessing the boss is going to be Mogwin, based on the name of this place. And I'm also guessing he might be a rather difficult boss. Because it's Elden Ring and every boss is difficult. Alright, this is doing more damage. So, magic is, uh, doing better. You know, I th thought I was going a side direction, but it kind of looks like I'm going the main direction. <laughs> Tier 12, Golden Rune. I'm heading toward a lake of blood. Yeah, this sort of feels like... Interesting little procession there. Reminds me of another game in the Soul series. Ugh. This is like a little face looking thing there almost. Um. I feel like I can sort of sneak around here and get these items without having to fight. All of them. That was a hero's rune that I just picked up. Yeah. 
eight blood-tinged excrements. Okay, so this area is uh, a bit bigger than I expected. I was kind of hoping to find a bonfire. Another hero's rune. Sheesh. Okay, I can't backstab that guy, can I? I was really expecting, uh... I was not expecting this to keep going this way. Ooh, Ash of War, Blood Tax. Only the second... Oh, I bet I know what that is. I bet that's the, uh... That's the one that everybody stabs themselves with, I bet. Every time I have seen PvP, people are just stabbing themselves with the head. <laughs> Which I assume is a way to, um... Yeah, I don't want to go that way. Not yet, anyway. I feel like I've, I went the wrong way right away. I immediately went the wrong way. And now I'm lost and confused. Where did I start from? <laughs> I Oh, wow. Where did all these people come from? Uh, I think I started from this way... Yeah, there's some corpses. Yeah. I think this is where I started from. Because I assumed that was the way I was supposed to go. But I turned around and there's this whole... Big area behind me that I didn't know about. Okay, I think... This is the way I'm supposed to go. I would like to find a grace... Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. A map of Mogwin Palace. Perfect. Ah, I see why it's such a big area now. I see. I feel like we were looking at this area... Oh no, this is way up above. That's why there was a ghost down there somewhere that was looking up into the sky and saying, that's where the Lord of Blood is. And this is it. This must be it. I thought at the time that he was talking about... Ah, here's a grace. I thought at the time he was talking about the... Uh, the guy standing on that ledge when you arrive after going through the four belfries. But there's more. There's more to it than that. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Oh! When they exploded, they did a lot of bleed damage. I see how it is now.
You know, I've seen a lot of people dual wielding in this game. Like, quite a lot of people. Uh, so I am gonna try something here. I think this was a terrible idea that I've just had. Um, I think it only works when you have two similar types of weapons. Um, so let's try Moonveil and... Oh, Rivers of Blood. Oh god, this should be... Oh my god. Oh my god, this is going to be brutal. <laughs> Moonvale and Rivers of Blood together. This should be brutal. There's a lot of them. A lot of bleed damage here with the Lord of Blood. What's up with that? I don't know why I'm methodically killing everybody. Okay, so... Uh-oh. Yeah, I <laughs> walked into that. This is quite a chore. Can we do this a little... Why do I have... I don't know why I have those kind of arrows. This isn't really any faster. Yeah, a lot of people seem to be uh, doing the whole dual wielding thing, which I think is new in this game, or at least... Um... ish. In previous games, there were uh, specific weapons for dual wielding. Like the... Like the, uh, the Godskin Peeler is a twin blade sword specifically for dual wielding. And the hook claws are kind of like that. But you can also just equip two swords and dual wield that way and you get a different move set oh my god this is tedious I'm about ready to declare that I don't care about getting bleed damage I mean I can I can take a few hits Ugh. <laughs> I'm just getting... I'm getting blood all over me. Where is this going? Ugh. I don't know why I feel like I have to kill them all. I could just run past them. Why am I trying to kill them all? Because it's just... That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to kill everybody that you run across. Because they might drop something cool. I mean, they don't. They seem to be dropping nothing but mushrooms.
So interestingly, the charge attack, oh my god, there's more? The charge attack is uh, the one from my right hand weapon. It's not the one from my left hand weapon. So if I were to dual wield my left hand weapon, would that... Yeah. There we go. So if I dual wield my left hand weapon, it gives the charge attack is the rivers of blood corpse piler. Whoops. I got blood on me. Ah! There's a giant blob. A giant blob. Um... Okay. Ah! Uh. Can we just kill this thing? This thing's probably gonna do, like, crazy damage. up. Oh, I thought it was just gonna blow up and kill me. Okay. And there's more staunching boluses. Okay. This is crazy. There's so much blood. So much blood. What's over that way? More. Even more. Am I even going the right way? God, it just loops around. And this, there's like fire here. Why is there fire here? Something's going to happen there. So it just loops around. Oh, there's an item. Stone sword key. I knew it. I knew something was going to happen. I just knew it. All right, I'm just running around these guys. I feel like it's a bad idea though, because they're they're all gonna rush at me probably at some point, and then I'm gonna be overwhelmed and die. Blood rose. Anything behind here? All right, what's going on with this thing? Is this the boss fight? I see we can do a summon. Uh. Seems familiar. I'm gonna assume that I'm overleveled for this. But maybe not.
I don't think that I'm over leveled for this. So that was uh that was one of the that was like the uh Rose Church guy, except stronger. Nice and dark here. Wow, laggy. Okay, I'm thought I healed. Oh, he's throwing things. Wow. Oh, he dodged back. Oh, sluggish. Wow, did I just get super slowed. Man. That skill was nasty. Okay. I guess I have to get bloody to get that item, which was a blood rose. Somebody's playing a violin out here. Is it a merchant? It's a merchant. Really? It's a really strange place for a merchant. Oh, dear. Am I... I... Terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? I suppose I am. Five stone sword keys. Well, I'm gonna buy those. Not that I need them. I guess I'll get a Lost Ashes of War, too. I mean, buying the rune arc seems pointless. Bolts that cause blood loss build up. Wow. Any excess stuff I can sell? I guess. Oh, I must apologize. I, 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 I'm afraid I've very little to offer. So why couldn't I just kill you then? Uh, I don't like this. Okay, we gotta heal quick. Oh boy. He does so much damage. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get out of this. Oh my god, that bloody Helis is a nightmare. I can't even... <laughs> wow, he stunlocks you so much. So I'm thinking we just run past that, because it looks like they just keep spawning. So, uh, yeah, I don't see why we need to deal with that. Except for the fact that they're going to be a pain. And what's this item? A Lord's Rune. They're not... They are following me. Okay, we're gonna keep running. They are just right behind me. Wow. Oh my god. That was super laggy. Why is there another one? There's a second one. Okay, dodge. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> wow. This place is not cool. It's not cool, man.
So now I have to run past them to get my souls. I mean, I don't really need to get my souls, I guess. So a problem that I'm having is... Um, Alright, let's get rid of that one. Um, enhances jump attacks. I never use jump attacks. I feel like I need... What's the one that gives me extra stamina? That one's a little bit better. I feel like I'm running out of stamina really fast. Which is a bit of a problem. Oh. So he he stands just out of range. And um And then sweeps in. He he jumps back just out of range, and then he uh, oh my god, that guy's got such a big shield. Is this a boss fight run? There's an item over there. Why was there? That's why there was a second one. Yep, he did it again. Jumped just out of range. Oh, yeah. Wow. How did he hit me first? I swung at him, he was not doing anything, and then in the middle, in the middle of my swing at him, he swung at me. Oh god. Wow, I feel so lagged. Why do I feel so lagged by this fight? Why do I feel so lagged? Oh my god, is it the game? Is it is it my CPU is not strong enough? What the hell? Why? I I'm not even running on that high of settings. I'm on like... I'm just on like high settings. I'm not on super high settings. I gotta... I mean, I don't wanna... S oh my god, whatever. I just... It's just the way Elden Ring is. It just lags. It's the... An I, I think what I'm sensing is all the animation locking. What feels like lag is, uh... Is just... You know, being stuck in an animation and not being able to move. So I guess I'm just going to run through here and not try to fight all these guys because I'll be here all night <laughs> trying to claw my way through this place. I'm assuming this is probably a boss fight run or something and we're supposed to just run through. That guy with the big shield was just running through, so... I see somebody behind me there. Oh yes, there's a sight of grace. Yeah, we're we're just supposed to run through here. <laughs> we're not supposed to stick around in there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bleeding man. Dynasty mausoleum midpoint. Oh sorry. Dynasty mausoleum midpoint. All right, I think I know a spoiler that is about to happen to me because that that grace site is familiar 
and I bet it's going to happen right here. Oh, maybe not. Did I miss anything over here? That looks like where we started from down there. Well, I thought this looked like it might be a boss fight room. But maybe not. All these flame things on the ground make me nervous. Is that the Lord of Blood himself? The guy? The beard statue guy? Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, who's that? Can we just shoot that guy from here? Oh! Don't think so. Oh, I don't have a shield. Ugh! Okay, this is, uh, this is uncool. Those are some uncool moves you guys are doing there. Dislike. I can't get up that way. That's cool. Oh, God. That's worse than a bone wheel. That, that is absolutely worse than a bone wheel. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Okay, is there any other places to go here? Because this feels like a really bad place to be. Golden rune. This really feels like I'm in a bad place. Bad, bad place. Can I go that way? That's where I started from, though, isn't it? Oh, hi. Let's, let's go this way. Thank you. Going this way. Okay, it's all fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, that's definitely worse than a bone wheel. Oh man. Praise the dual wielding. Man, I wonder if the game would have been any any easier if I had figured out dual wielding earlier in the game. What did I get here? A somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Oh my god, that thing. One of those almost killed me. Okay. Well, that was that was a lot. It seems like there might be There's an item there. There's a bunch of messages down there. But that kind of looks like it goes back to where we started from. That doesn't look like a path forward, but it does look like there is an item there. I mean, we could just grab that item and teleport back, I suppose. Golden seed. Well, don't need it. Oh, the Imprisoned Merchant. That's who that is. So... Is that the way to go? Well, I don't 
don't think I can get there now. I don't know where I am right now. I think I'm on the pathway. Oh, I know where I am now. I'm. Yeah, I'm uh, back here. Back here running past all these bloody Helis monsters. I don't know what to call these guys. Um... All I know is they carry bloody Helises. <laughs> I'm a little confused why I'm, uh... I thought I was gonna have an encounter here near this... this thing. But I don't... I think maybe I've gone the wrong way? There's only one way to go, though. Oh, is this an elevator? It is an elevator. Whoa! We're going up. Well, that looks like a boss fight room. What? What did that say? Oh, it was a message. Trying not to read the messages. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're about to have a boss fight. Something tells me. I don't know what it is that makes me think this might be a boss fight. It just has that look. It's a cutscene. It's bleeding. It's bleeding a lot. I have an invitation. Was invited to this party, dearest Mikola. <gasps> you must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest. To the birthplace of our dynasty! Mikola? Uh... I'm scared. Okay. I feel like... Ble oh, wow. Bleeding may not be the best thing to do against him. But I don't have a lot of choices. Oh, wow. The slow attacks. Always... Oh, that thing? Oh, my God. That's, that attack is... Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, I'm just... That is the most... Oh, my God. All these slow attacks. That's going to hit me, yeah. That thing's got a million miles of reach. So we gotta start attacking. 
because we're almost out of healing. Oh my god, I can't even heal. Yeah, so he's just... Nicola is mine and mine alone. Okay, sir. My massive, massive attacking weapon did jack squat against him. So that's a major problem. Um... Yeah, something tells me I should probably uh, do a summon. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get through this by myself. All right, Mimic Tear. Time for one last fight. Well, we found Mikola. We found Mikola and... The, oh, God, Mimic Tear's getting murdered. I'm going to have to give up on these souls. Because by the time I get my souls and get back... Mimic Tear's going to be dead. Oh, it's this thing again. So Mimic Tear's just going to stand in all this damage the whole time. Okay. So magic was okay. Right. Oh, he's put a debuff on me. I don't like that. Pretty good bleed. No stamina, though. Oh, I got I got to get away from that. I couldn't heal in time. Couldn't heal fast enough. Oh, so he's bleeding and healing simultaneously. That's cool. Well, this fight seems manageable at least. But as with most boss fights, it feels like the way to do this is just <laughs> spam damage. Just spam the damage until he's dead. That seems like the standard tactic for every Elden Ring major boss. There's, you don't even really need to bother learning their mechanics. Just, just keep doing damage. Okay, yeah. I mean, do we have to kill him before he does that? I mean, it kind of feels like that might be the best strategy. Because then you don't have to worry about figuring out how to get out of it. I mean, I figured you'd just heal through that. But, uh, maybe it's more than that. I'm gonna have to get my, uh, souls. What? <laughs> the range on that? That was ridiculous. Oh, God. Yeah, all those 360 spin moves. Oh god, he's in a shower of rain. Oh god, a uh, button cube. I got no stamina. I'm dead. I got no stamina. 
I can't. Uh, so much animation locking. So I have no stamina, and I have, and I'm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I thought this wasn't going to take that long, but uh, this might take a while. This might take a while. Unless I can kill him before he does that move. But I don't think I have enough stamina to just keep spamming attacks on him. Also, it occurs to me I should probably put on... Is that fire damage? I'm not sure. Man, Mimic Tear does some healthy damage. Right. Oof. Ugh. Again, it feels really, really laggy. I don't. I can see it as clear as day. The coming of our dynasty. More Quinn. Moog's great rune. Achievement unlocked. Shardbearer Moog. The Remembrance of the Blood Lord. Yeah, that was it. Basically kill him before he does that move. That, that kills you. <laughs> and uh, try to conserve stamina so that you can just keep spamming these attacks. <laughs> Spam attacks as fast as you can. That is pretty much how you beat most bosses in this game. Which is, you know, basically a complete betrayal of every previous From Software game. You know, gone are the days when you do a careful tactical fight of back and forth. No, you just run in and spam damage really fast. Cocoon of the Imperium is the name of this place. And we have a ton of levels again. Ton of runes. That was the boss fight that I wanted to do. And that is, uh, Mikola, apparently. And why is Mikola here? Mikola has a ring. So we found Mikola and we found the Lord of Blood. So that's all the demigods accounted for now. Wow. Cool place. Disturbing. But cool. So that was it. That was, again, I guess we'll do three more points of vigor and level up to 149. Why the heck not? And that is going to do it for this addendum. Unless there's something behind here. It kind of looks like there's something behind here. There are messages out here. Try jumping, I bet it says. This kind of looks like it. Oh, so this... Wow. So the whole time we were looking up at this place. It was the place where the Lord of Blood was hanging out. This was the glowing sort of temple that we were looking up at the whole time. And where was the... Where was the, the gate destination? I don't know, I can't see it anywhere. It might have been over there somewhere. 
perhaps. Yeah, that one ghost that was looking up into the into the distance. This is what they were looking at. All right, well that's it for this uh, this yet another post credits addendum. Nothing nothing to see here. Just the corpse of Mikola. He's not a child. <laughs> He's not a child anymore. So... I've killed the whole Mikola and Melania family. Whatever happened to Vare? I thought I was going to see Vare here at some point. But I don't see him. What if I run backwards? I feel like he might be mad at me. When I said I thought I had been spoiled about something, I thought for sure I was going to see him shortly after... Yeah, like right around here somewhere. Shortly after this bonfire. I thought... I had seen a note somewhere that he would show up around this bonfire somewhere. Maybe he's one of these guys. I did just kind of run through here. A lot of messages. Messages are like, hey, just run through here. Somebody's fighting somebody down here. Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, this is a big problem. Anything down here? Oh, that was a great, gr great glove wart. That was pretty cool. Do I go? I think I went this way. Wait, oh, I was gonna say, are they not spawning now that the Lord of Blood is dead? But they are. Why did Vare say the, the time is not right? I don't know why he said that. Oh, I forgot to read the runes read the items. So we got a uh, uh, we got a, a great rune of something. Moog's great rune. Devoid of any benediction. Seek the divine tower of East Altus which stands beyond the great bridge from Leandell's eastern ward. Leandell's eastern ward. Have I already in there? I have 18 stone sword keys. Surely I did not miss 18 doors. But maybe I did. The Divine Tower of East Altus. I feel like that's West Altus. The Divine Tower of East Altus. Do I even know where that is? I don't think I know where that is. West Altus. Oh, East is... Okay. Uh, doy. I know what East and West means. So... Haven't I already been here? This is weird. 
This is the first time one divine tower has been used for multiple runes. This is quite odd and perplexing. I'm very confused. Or maybe this one just wasn't working before? I don't remember. I'm not wearing any shoes. There's a couple of fingers. Restore the power of the great rune. Moog's Great Rune. It also occurs to me that we probably got a remembrance. Grants a blessing of blood to phantoms. Its blessing grants a blessing of blood to summoned phantoms and imparts a phantom great rune upon successful invasion. Moog and Margot are twin brothers and their great runes are naturally similar. But Moog's rune is soaked in accursed blood from his devout love for the wretched mire that he was born into far below the earth. Oh, so that's why Moog and Margot use the same tower. That explains that. So where's my remembrance? That's a key item, isn't it? Do I have a remembrance? I should have a remembrance. Uh, there it is. Remembrance of the Blood Lord. Wishing to raise Mikula to full godhood, Moog wished to become his consort, taking the whole... taking the role of monarch. But no matter how much of his bloody bedchamber he tried to share, he received no response from the young Empyrean. Oh, he was spurned. Well, well, well. And thus the saga of the Lord of Blood comes to an end. Maybe that's why... That's why there's a grace here. So you can come right back here, because you had two different runes to, uh, to get through. Well, that is the Vare Saga completed and the Lord of Blood exposed at long last. See you later.